Hi, I'm Tony Williams, and this is Brooklyn Savvy. Hi, I'm Tony Williams, and welcome to Brooklyn Savvy. We're going to be taking on the provocative conversation of the hookup culture with psychotherapist and dating coach Lisa White. Thank you, Lisa, for coming on. Thank you. You always bring a lot of passion and excitement <laughs> to our panels. And to my two co hosts, Denise Arbusu and Alan Saul Peter. Now, this whole idea of the hookup culture, uh, a few weeks ago, I was talking to some girlfriends and they didn't even know what the heck I was talking about. I went to my daughter's uh, Catholic school and they were talking to us about the hookup culture and that we need to be talking to our girls about this culture. Was it specifically? Prior, prior to go, their going to college. They were high school girls. But, but just it, about the girls or were they talking to girls and boys? No, no, it's a girls school. A girls school. And they okay. wanted the girls to be very aware. cautious mm -hmm. and aware. aware. And the mm -hmm. time to talk about that culture is in the ninth grade, not when they're entering college. Mm -hmm. So talk to us about what is this whole Hookup well, what is the hookup? Culture. Well, that's what, that's yeah. what we got uh, to talk about this. Well, let's see. It's a phenomenon now, right? Yeah. Well, there's a question. Okay. So they define the hookup culture as this um, just people coming together, not really knowing each other and engaging in, uh, I would say, not just sex. Right. It can be but kissing. It could be kissing. It could be out. making out or things so like that. So free love. Is, isn't the operative well, word, about free love. operative word, not knowing each other necessarily? Yeah. It could be It could be around, oh, not knowing that person. I'm at a party. I meet somebody that but I, I like. But I thought also hooking up, Lisa, was was I'm with a friend or, and we hooked up. Right. So it, like my understanding. Oh, friends with benefits. Right. No, no, friends, no. It was more friends with benefits yeah, as well as anonymous. It can be. It can be anonymous. Or it could be with somebody that you're just meeting more intimately. So it could be somebody you've just seen. You've seen periodically, but that, you know, mm -hmm. or maybe you've had a conversation. Okay, but, but I do think but you're Lisa, right. I'm I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Go but ahead. I do ahead. think that it is, there is a something no to it where there's just no commitment to it. Okay, mm -hmm. I get that. But <laughs> this is nothing new. It's no. just a different name no. for something that I, I everybody's the, been doing for a long time. Though. I you, think that what now, now about I think it? now you're seeing more and more kids in college campuses getting involved in it. In fact, they say 78% of young wow. women that are going to college will have a hookup at least one time in their college career. I think what makes 78%, it... 78%. But I'm, I, I need to understand I the difference. Think, it's, yeah. it's a big difference. What makes it different is that it's more of an open discussion. But what yeah. I do think is different mm -hmm. is that in this case, there's a, it's more openly, it's openly discussed. People aren't embarrassed People by are the not fact embarrassed that they're by hooking this. up. They're right. kind of like, that's what you do. Whereas perhaps right. when we were in college, you know, it was something no one talked but about. But are women, are okay. women, okay. Okay, I'll give you, you, okay, I'll give you that. I'll give but you let that. me ask you a question though. Are women mm -hmm. hardwired for these kinds of connections? Meaning, I meet a stranger, mm -hmm. I have sex. Men, we both, we, I think we know that men and women are different. Right, okay. Are, 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 are women well, more into different. bonding? I mean, I'm just asking a question. Or, or, or is today's woman really different? Where, hey, they can have sex like guys have sex. You know, just meet is somebody that, is that really and the, have sex Is that really the reason why they're doing it? I don't, uh, that's my question. I mean, I think that I, there could be an argument that men and women see things differently in terms of relationships and the right. way that they engage in relationships. However, I think there, there are women who can just have sex and not be attached. Absolutely. I, and I but think there's no issue around it. But I don't know but if I don't, it's all of them. Well, right, I not mean, a lot of them. Of and I think that... So is that the peer pressure in a way to be like that? But look or at is the, that the shortage of men on campus? Well, right, I don't know right. about the I demographics, know about that. but I don't know about that. I, that. I, really I, don't think I don't know if it's about demographics. I think we're in a society where sex is more freely discussed well, and it's open. And yeah. I was going to say, look at the that MT, was it the MTV, MTV show yeah. that yes. they pulled off the air, which is basically teenagers having, or right. preteens having sex? Yes. I, think I don't remember the, skin, I think, I think it was called. Yes. You know, sex is okay now, I, in a sense. It's not hidden. I think, though, the concern I just I have with it really is the openness about it and then how you're viewed. And if you're okay, because this definitely society still has So there's that clear, judgment call. I think society has clear roles for men and women, regardless yeah. of whether so we have this hook up yeah. So I would tell you that men can, can sleep with as many women as they want and they're seen as a stud. And I think women who are seen, sleeping with a whole lot of women 
I mean, men <laughs> or women. Yeah, you know I mean, that's not right, right. who are seen as sleeping with a whole lot of people is or seen as is, is promiscuous. promiscuous. Right. And so, in, and I would also tell you that a guy would probably say, "Okay, there's no problem if you're hooking up, and that's what you're there for." Right. But if he knows that you slept with a whole lot of women, I'm mean, a whole right. lot of men or women. Right. I'm not quite sure if he would want to be with you in a relationship. I think that that is just how society. Uh puts it out there. Okay, but that's real. If you can, that's if, real double but wait, 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 but I would but tell you that if you, can, yeah. Yeah. if you can, if you can, if it's not a big deal to you, right, and it's not a big issue, then do what you feel. But recognize right. that there's a ramification for women in particular around this issue. I want to say right, something right. else though. You know, I was reading, the, you know, I read the advice column in 17 magazine. I have a young daughter. And the author was talking about the fact that a lot of these young girls feel pressure to hook up. Right. They are not they are not empowered and liberated. They're doing this because perhaps they can gain a male's attention this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So that, and we so all wait. know that from what we hear from men is that yeah, if you say if you present it I might just take you up yeah, but on that it. Where does that leave the? Uh, I'm talking teenagers well, what now. Right. Self I'm, talking, I'm not talking grown women. Yeah. I'm talking teenagers Teens. that I feel might need some sort but of. But how does that differ from anything this? that we've experienced before? It's always been like that. Right. That well, women have yeah, to be no, a certain way. Yeah, boys always have to. Yes, they you. did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah, they did. When, when I grew up, I'm sorry, and we're looking at a few years ago. Tony, uh, people but, got you know, married to have sex. I remember my colleague who is in her 60s telling me, Lisa, in my day and age. People got married to have sex. Yes, of course. So right. you didn't give it up because there was this idea that you didn't want to be seen as the promiscuous girl. No, yeah, you want to have a wedlock. Right, have a wedlock. Right, right, right. right. However, well, you also got people pregnant. People wanted then. to have right. sex. Right. That's that a big. Di I'm sorry. That's a big mm -hmm. difference. Right. Birth control. Birth control mm -hmm. came in. The pill came in, right. and it gave women the right to be free. Right. So and that's to what they're doing now. And choosing their partners. And so now women however, are choosing. However, like, today you die. You could die. <laughs> well, if you use a condom. My question is this. Disease. There are people who are using who are, who are practicing safe sex who are con using condoms. Yes. I don't want to. I don't want to take away. I do think that there's something very liberating about the ap the idea yes. that you can freely enjoy sex. Yes. Choose your partner and right. feel if very comfortable so in if that you, process. If that is if the want, background right. conversation. Exactly. Right. If that's and my it. contention right. is that is not the background conversation. Well, but the background conversation, at least on some of the college campuses that I'm aware of, is let's go to this frat party. I'm gonna get drunk. You know. What we're seeing so now you're talking are people about drug with dating and violence. Yeah, that is drug and date rape. But that's always been around. Always no, no, been. no, 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 no. I, you're minimizing it. When you say it's always been around, that minimizes what what it is we're trying to discuss here and what we want people to take away from the conversation. Well, no. We're what having. I think we should the be taking away around. from the conversation is that people shouldn't be doing anything that they're not comfortable. with. Absolutely. Absolutely. And have faith. Understand understand you don't fully Absolutely. understand Absolutely. that Absolutely. and Absolutely. understand the ramifications because right. I think that although in this society people is saying it's okay to hook up you need to understand and i think there's this other conversation that's not being had which is how are ev how's everybody going to view you right so when i went right. to college but then how is that i will bring this back when this. i was in yeah. college mm -hmm. i distinctly remember that when people engaged in you had sex but yes. it wasn't an yes. open conversation and i'm not going to tell you that people didn't have sex with multiple people yeah. however and it was done about it. but it was discreetly yeah. done but it was right. the about ones it. who did not they, before I graduated, they created a list. Talk about the list. And they put a list, list. about all the, the girls list. that slept right. around with guys. Mm -hmm. And they had names for them. And they posted it Where all over the school. Where did you go to college? Oh, there are a lot of colleges <laughs> that do this. No, but I went to I went to college. But I'm going to say this what to you. What you're saying is accurate. My I point to you yeah. is, and I, and I will tell you that those, really and yes, it is, because mm -hmm. there is a double standard. Th that's right. Because nobody posted the list of all the guys, guys who slept, slept with the girls. Let's look at why they're double But they post us list right, of right. the women. And so what the issue that we need to be concerned with is how we are seen mm -hmm. if we're go and are we really taking charge of our sexuality and even in us taking we're charge really of our not. sexuality people still judge us by it and men in particular judge. will hold, will judge us and hold us in that dis I get, you know I, I, I think that that is a certain the, level of dis there's I, I two would, conversations though yeah. I think you're talking about your daughters you know That's same different. sex I, school I, single sex school mm -hmm. where there's a, young, a real dialogue a around. Yeah, they are really warning young right. girls no, no, no I hear you but culture, for yes. me as 
a high school girl, I think it is important to have conversations yes. around it and be oh. ready and aware of what that might mean for you. Because right. I do think right. that in high school, yes. it is I too agree. young to hook up regardless of who you're right. hooking I don't think up with. Right. I don't think that's about no, sex, though, No, 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 but I'm talking yeah, about right. being yeah. not about aware of making this tra- whole kind of future ahead of you and the all these choices that are out there. The consequence of your choices. Right. Absolutely. If you act inappropriately. But, you know, I have to say, Lisa, I listen to you talk about and if you don't care about your reputation, well, everyone to some extent cares mm-hmm. about how they are perceived. Mm-hmm. But I, I got to go back to as a woman, as someone, and I went to college a long time ago also, <laughs> but, you know, people were having sex, whether it was quiet mm-hmm. and demure, we did not, or I was unaware of a list of those who might be deemed mm-hmm. more promiscuous mm-hmm. regardless of gender. But I think it's really important that women come <laughs> into their own sexually, yes. whether that's in college, whether yes. it's in their 30s, their 50s, yes. or their 70s. Right. I right. And I think right. that I'm I right. don't have sex that to be happen. in a relationship per se. That is part of a relationship mm-hmm. and yes. sex is for a most booster. of us better right. in a relationship right. but there right. are plenty of people but Ellen that has no judgment you know what right. you were what you were talking about but what I'm about. saying it's is it's, it's yeah. but it's woman. someone who's lived exactly. a few decades who's saying right. that you know I have a, a young younger daughter and I think about and I have a son that I don't want to put women in the situation of hooking up randomly if it's right. meaningless and if they're pressured. Absolutely. Right. But I also think that my son has a responsibility. My Absolutely. teenager. Yeah, that's right. And, and that's I, you know, I'm starts. tired of it women. Starts. It's always, you're saying, oh, well, what about the, you know, the double standards? And you but know it what? It's there. our job yes. and it's our job as mothers of as boys. As parents to educate. To say, let's change that standard and let's mm-hmm. make it healthy for everybody.